All right, so we need to solve this one for x. Uh, first, we need to solve for the absolute value. So we're just going to isolate the absolute value. We'll get it on its own side of the equal sign. So we need to get rid of that minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. And that gives us, well, we didn't do anything with this stuff. So we got 5 times the absolute value of 2x minus 2. This became 0. And this is equal to 10 plus 3 is 13. And then we will divide both sides by 5. And we've got that absolute value by itself finally. And we know what it equals. All right, once we get to this point with the absolute value on its, or by itself, or isolated, however you want to say it, then we can split this thing up. So I've got 2x minus 2 equals 13 fifths. Uh, but also I would have 2x minus 2 equals a negative 13 fifths. And we're going to solve both these equations just 4x. So working with this blue one, I would add 2 to both sides. And uh, we need common denominators to add the 13 fifths to the 2. So I will make that a 10 fifths, <coughs> giving me 23 fifths equals the 2x that I had left over. And I do need more space. <coughs> and then finally, divide everything by 2 to get rid of the coefficient of x. So I've got x equals, that is 23 fifths divided by 2, which would be the same thing as 23 fifths times 1 half. And fraction multiplication gives us 23 tenths. So now let's do the other side. So same idea, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. But once again, we have a fraction. So I'm going to make that 2 a 10 fifths again. But since that's a negative 13 fifths, when I add those together, I get a negative 3 fifths, a little bit smaller number. And I've still got this 2x. So finally, to solve for x, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2. But once again, we don't really divide with fractions. We end up multiplying by the reciprocal of that second number. So I get x equals negative 3 tenths. And it looks like that would be the two answers. Of course, you should check. But for time's sake, uh, I won't.